<laughs> um, okay, so now that the stream people are hearing us, hello, people from the stream. I use this one, so people are actually hearing us. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, hello again, people in the room, hi. Uh, hello, people in the stream and on the recording. Um, my name is Claudia, this is Barbara. Yeah, I'm Barbara. <laughs> um, the thing is, um, we're doing a creative writing workshop here. So, uh, as soon as the lorry is going around there. Dear. Maybe you can have a third try to start that workshop now. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, why do we do that? Because we want to let hack words here. Really? Okay. Um, I'm doing this uh, partly as, as my job. Um, I have a normal day job and uh, then in my very sp uh, limited spare time I'm also an author. So I write books for uh, two publishers um, and uh, yeah, mostly crime novels currently. So not, not changed to, to science fiction now because I can't think of all this stuff going on uh, around us. This is uh, <laughs> much worse than anything I could think of. Um, well, um, I'm also writing um, on my day job. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a journalist and I'm writing for a big newspaper in Austria. And besides that, I'm um, writing on my first big novel, which is already finished, 400 pages, but it's not published yet and it will not be published in the very close future but maybe in the one a year and um, for me um, all started with creative writing uh, I, I attended some creating creative writing workshops myself in the last couple of years and they really helped me to um, get started with my novel because before that I was always thinking about oh well I should write I should write but I didn't start and finally, after having a workshop like this, I started. So I want to uh, share this experience with you. Uh, actually, we're sharing this experience like once a month because we're in the same writing group. Uh, th that uh, thing with authors are those uh, separated creatures sitting in dark chambers. You know that from the, nerds, the nerd parts, right? Um, uh, but we come out once a month, uh, sit there together in some cafe and uh, write for about two or three hours. Um, yeah, but you, you can try that maybe later if, if you like what you're experiencing here. Um, for the people on the, sc uh, on the screens in the stream, uh, you can uh, interact with us via Twitter. Uh, just write to Shroombab. Shroombab is Barbara here. And... Uh, we can we can answer your questions then. Hi there, come in. <laughs> and everybody who just came in new into the tent here um, and need some paper and pen, just raise your hands and I will bring it to you uh, because it, we are here in a workshop and you're going to write. Actually, it's okay. not only we are talking, but you are writing. <laughs> so anybody who needs some stuff, just yes, you can use your computer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, you may use your, your computer if you like. Um, you can also just try to write with your hands because this is a completely different experience. So uh, for all of you who has already tried writing, uh, for the people in the room who has already some experience with writing? Software, Software is okay-ish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so who, who is writing novels and who is writing software? Novels? Okay, one, two. Short, Short stories. stories. Yeah. Short stories. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay, and, and code? <laughs> Nearly everyone? Okay, I guess this is the same for the people in the, sc uh, in the stream. <laughs> Pardon? Yeah, documentation. documentation. Oh, we love you. <laughs> Scientific papers. <laughs> yes. Logs. <laughs> 
Um, does that uh, mobile microphone work? Yes? yes. yes? Great. <laughs> Maybe it works over there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, One, two, three. Okay, this is the part uh, with the question of your expectations from this workshop. Um, you don't have to say much. If you say something, it will be on the uh, stream. Uh, people on the stream, uh, you did grasp around, you get some paper and pens, right? Good. If not, do it now. Um, your expectations from that workshop. Just one minute thinking. Who wants to say what, what he's expecting here? So we can we can actually one sec. For for me it's to um, just get encouragement and motivation. So I've been to a, a number of workshops and each time each one just helps a little bit, but it's all it's all helpful. So it's um, I'm motivated by attending these things. Okay, that's it. <laughs> so you're you're already keen on writing. Yes. We, we're totally motivated that you're here. <laughs> Well, uh, my expectation is to have uh, one page of this at least filled with something coherent. <laughs> <laughs> you might reach this goal. <laughs> Hi, uh, well thank you for giving the talk. Um, I have a lot of thoughts and write these down, like small pinpoints and whatever, but I never get further than just these small pinpoints and I think it will be really interesting to grab them together into bigger essays and you have to make time for that and maybe this would be a nice stepping stone in the front set to start making that time. Okay, anyone else? Did I see a hand? Yes, no? Yeah? Another? Another? I'm quite blank. I, I thought that will creative writing, I can, I, can, I can learn something. Okay, we're working on that one. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes? Every, every technique, like dancing or making paintings, has its own ways of getting uh, into the creative process. So I'm interested in uh, what aspects uh, and what techniques there are in, in this uh, field. Okay, we'll, we'll also come, uh, come around some, some of the uh, creative techniques. Yes, we will. Um, okay, for you to start, um, yes, please. Thank you. This is about free writing. Free writing is already a technique. Who already knows free writing? No hands. I, I can't see hands from the stream, but uh, we just go on with the people in the room then. Um, free writing, Barbara? Well, free writing is actually something um, you should, uh, you can use um, to um, get over writing blocks. It's a creative technique which you are um, starting to use before you actually want to write something that is important. It's like um, you're sitting now here and you might have something in your mind uh, that disturbs you the whole fucking day and you are not getting rid of it um, and you really want to get rid of it bef because you can't concentrate on the topic you really want to write about. Like a uh, shopping list, the car insurance, uh, that guy in the office, uh, like anything that's disturbing and coming back to your mind. I guess everyone knows that, right? Yeah, I see nodding. Good. So yeah, not, not only me. <laughs> And um, that's why uh, you use this technique like um, before you write what you really want to write, uh, you write down what disturbs you. And you're doing this uh, in one huge line. It doesn't um, mean um, that you, no, well, actually you shouldn't stop writing at all. And if you're not, um, if nothing comes into your mind, write, nothing comes into my mind, nothing comes into my mind, nothing comes into my mind. Oh, maybe now, maybe now, well, uh, let's try. Oh, my home is so bad today, or no, today the wind and the tent, maybe it's not secured yet, whatever. Um, just don't stop writing, and uh, you do that for... Um, 
I think we said we do that for five minutes. And five, and five minutes? minutes is normally the, the time um, yeah. w you use that. Okay. Then your mind should be uh, more empty than before and then you can concentrate on the real things. <laughs> right. So actually, every one of you is just grasping the pen or uh, your keyboard <laughs> and just start writing anything that comes to your mind. Just anything, yeah? So, uh, and, and the, um, the reason for it is, th it is that it will go out, go away, and afterwards you will be a bit more clear. And you will uh, have it all out of the way afterwards, so when we come to, to the creative process itself. Fine? Five minutes. And go. And if somebody needs a paper and pen uh, and hasn't got it now, raise your hands. I will bring it to you immediately. Yeah.
nonstop. Okay. How did it go? <laughs> it was... <laughs> One sec. I was pleased that I kept going for five minutes. My hand's tired and I still had stuff left to write, so I think I'm doing good. Thank you. That's good. Anyone else? How did it go? You look at, looking still, still please? One sec. Coming to you. Uh, pretty good. I've uh, managed to write a whole lot of nothing. So I think that's good. That's exactly what you were supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, one thing I'm wondering, but probably there is no right and wrong here, uh, is that I did everything grammatically very correct. <laughs> Instead of, no, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's totally fine. As long as you don't stop writing. It's just getting everything out of your, of your mind. So your brain can, can f come into a, a create, creative mo mode. Um, so in, in normally during the day you're in like a, a non-creative working mode. I have to do this, I have to do that, and so on, and the car insurance and the cat and whatever. Um, and you, when, you, when you start free writing, it all comes out and it goes out of the way. Does any anyone already notice it a bit for the first first time? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I see you nodding. Okay. Close enough. I actually liked that uh, I heard a lot of people writing, so the, the sound of pencil on, on paper and then some people on, on the keyboards was great. And I saw, I saw people actually smile doing it, so that was good. <laughs> um, so, and we are going to continue writing now. It's not over yet. <laughs> this was just a warm-up. That was the warm-up, yes. Um, we have a, a, a writing proposal for you. How did it come that there's still a typo in that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a typo in the slide. I'm actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was sure I uh, corrected it, but okay. Sorry for the typo, I'll correct it uh, when you are writing again. <laughs> um, uh, no, I didn't use a spell checker because the spell checker always cuts out everything uh, that that I usually write down. So um, this is just just bits and pieces from from writing experience. Uh, when you write, um, what uh, a dialogue? How people speak? They don't speak as you write texts. So. Um, if you say, no, nah, I'm gonna do this or whatever, and you write that down, the spell checker cuts it out. out. So that's why I actually seldomly use a uh, spell checker, only in, in business, business emails. Yes? Uh, I think uh, with a spell checker also, you have uh, a distraction, something that stops you. Like you're writing and all of a sudden there's this red line that says, hey, wait a second. You need to right click and say, oh, okay, I, need, I meant this word, it stops your flow. So uh, I think that's another reason. I type in Dutch and the spell checker will be on English, and I type in English and it'll be on Dutch. I always get rid of squiggly lines. <laughs> yeah, the, the red lines English, same thing. Are, can be really disturbing um, when you want to write something in one uh, line. And yeah. Yeah. So a uh, spell checker, not for the first draft. It is, it is good if when, you're, when you're rewriting afterwards. So if you're actually going through your texts again and want to do something with it, then spell checker is fine. But for the first draft, no. Uh, maybe those screens, uh, slides were my first draft then. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> yes? No? OK. OK. For the subject we propose, uh, you can say, no, I have a, a, a clear idea about uh, something that I actually want to write about. I know a new short story. I know uh, a scene that I've seen somewhere on the camp or something. You can, of course, write about that. You, you can do whatever you like. This is just a proposal from us. So if you, you're going blank, actually, you could come back to the proposal. But you don't have to. Um, about that resilience, 
Barbara, you chose, uh, chose the subject. Why? Yeah, well, um, resilience is the official theme of SHAR 2017. Maybe not all of you have known that, <laughs> <laughs> but now you know. Yes, and I have um, that's why um, this workshop is also called Let's Hack Words because we want to um, use the SHA topic um, and um, our words um, and get creative with resilience. But it's just a suggestion. And you can write whatever you uh, want, which means you can like, write lyrics, you can write a short story, you can just start writing a story, you can um, write a poem, poem, you can write whatever comes up to you, and you can just write what, exp what you experienced here so far, like in terms of um, we are all here at this um, workshop, camp, camp and a few days <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we all um, got uh, different things to see and hear and maybe this has inspired us so far and you we can um, kind of um, write that down what inspired us so far yes but i ask why resilience barbara that not not only because it's the subject of shah but what do you understand from resilience what is what is your understanding of resilience so maybe for, for all of us so uh, to get into the topic no one oh come on one 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 sec for, for me uh, for my understanding of resilience is just being able to keep going it's being like bloody minded about things like even when things get tough you you keep going you've got you want to keep going but and it, it's sensible for you okay but it can be difficult sometimes anyone else yes it's about uh, uh, keeping on track uh, with your goals uh, as you go right and you get distracted by many things so uh, but first of all you need to have a goal so if you're goalless, <laughs> yeah, I think you're all over the place. But I think that is ultimately what it comes down to. Another one? You, yeah, maybe. I'm just imagining an, uh, a pillow with uh, feathers in it. <laughs> uh, instead of, uh, uh, what is it called? The air mattress I'm sleeping on now. <laughs> so that's waiting for me at home. And um, yes, I was really impressed by, by what he said, uh, because I'm also working on a project right now, which uh, has its difficulties. And uh, also always I feel, also when it's very difficult with this project, that my enthusiasm about the subject and the essence of the project is what keeps it going, even when it's really, really tough. So, okay. Th there was the word drive for, for the people in the stream. Um, anyone else? Oh, I see, I see already uh, faces, thinking faces, so... Um, I think they are already keen to start, actually. <laughs> yeah? Want to start again? Okay, we'll do that for, let's say, uh, 15 minutes. That's fine for you. Three times as much as you did the first time. Okay, you had five minutes the first time for the free writing. Now you've got 15. And if you want, we can um, tell you when it's uh, five minutes before um, the end. Yes, five minutes warning for everyone. Okay, people on the stream, uh, we will start uh, a timer for 15 minutes and this is also for you to write. Yes, if you are writing too. Yeah, and if you've got questions, you can Twitter us to shroombab, uh, S-H-R-O-O-M-B-A-B, shroombab, at shroombab, uh, on Twitter and just um, get in with your questions and we will answer them too. Um, Okay, for that timer, 
It's 16.13 now. And go. And if you need some more papers, just raise your hands, please. People on the stream, you will have to grab, grasp around you for some more paper. Or maybe switch to your keyboard.
This is the five minute warning. Five minutes to go.
and stop. Congratulations, you just wrote a first draft. Here you go. Yes, it's a first draft. What you produced in the last 15 minutes, it's a first draft of a text that could become a short story, a novel, a poem, something you can win the Pulitzer Prize for. <laughs> <laughs> and I see people throwing their the pens already. <laughs> Did you switch to the stream already? Okay, hi people for, uh, in the stream. Welcome back. Uh, I hope you've written something wonderful too. But actually, first drafts are seldomly wonderful in, in the first go. First drafts are meant to be shitty. <laughs> That doesn't mean that your text is shitty. No, but uh, if you have the feeling like, oh God, I did 15 minutes of writing just something and nobody in the whole world will want to read that ever, in a whole lifetime, in a whole history of human beings or whatever. That's totally okay. That's normal for first drafts. Uh, I have that every time I write a text. It's like nobody wants to read that. Well, um, I have the opposite feeling. <laughs> when I finish a text, I always think, oh, it's so great, it's so great. And when I read it again, then I get this feeling. <laughs> For me, it's mostly, okay, uh, this is so bad. And then I read it again, like two or three weeks or months later. And then I think, oh, it wasn't that bad. Okay, s w we can work on it. So uh, normally you produce a whole lot of text and then you carve the real creative text from it. So you, ha you have to have more text in the beginning to have something to work on. So, uh, and all, all that, that uh, free writing, that first drafts, this is what you do for, for a start, and then you can actually work on it and, and form the actual text you want to, to make it. Is it a book or a poem or whatever? So uh, usually you make, yeah, the first draft. You make the, the big stone, the rock, and then you can work on it and fine tune. But no, no fine tuning without any text. So this is what you always so have to do. Let's ask them how did it go. <laughs> yeah, ask them how did it go. You're having this microphone <laughs> to go around yes, and ask I them. See, <laughs> I see hands, and I'm coming. Yeah, so what I notice normally when I'm writing is that uh, my perfectionism kicks in. So I start dismissing my own words even while I'm writing. And this technique helps me to just completely shut that part of my brain off and just continue writing. Uh, I also notice I'm, I'm not scratching in my book. I just continue writing, 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 writing. And I think it, really it was really helpful. That's fine. I like that. Fine. Uh, anyone else? I see you nodding. No? Want, want to talk? Okay. <laughs> yes, you want. It uh, relaxes my brain uh, for a bit, but not my hands, so I was typing. But, uh, yeah, felt good. Felt good is good, <laughs> I think. Anyone else? Yes. I do see the added value of a pen and paper now because it's too easy on a keyboard to go and erase some things. <laughs> but But you see it. Even uh, though you typed on your keyboard. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, uh, smart. Uh, so yeah, I do notice. I try to keep writing, and it works kind of, definitely. But sometimes I did notice, like four or five times, I go back and say, like, ah, oh, this is not correct, or I should like change this a little bit, and it's just too easy on the keyboard. That inner sensor is a is a beast. <laughs> it actually is. Anyone else? Yes. Yeah, normally I, I really hate writing, I have to say that. Like, I'm not a writer at all. Um, I also hate reading. <laughs> I'm a photographer. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, that's why I went here, because I want to push myself to also learn other things than, than I usually do. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting to see that I'm actually able to, to write Al almost two pages now. <laughs> yeah. That's good. 
first two pages of your whole new novel. My whole last 20 years, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's totally good. Anyone else? Yes, no. People from the stream. Barbara, did we get any, any no, feedback? No, we didn't get any feedback on the stream. Because they're all writing. Yes, they hopefully. They didn't stop. They didn't stop. Well, That's please. good. Go on. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, we, we already said that inner sensor. Who, are, uh, who knows that? That inner sensor. The, 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 the inner person who's trying to hold you back, who's always correcting you, saying, no, you can't write that like that, or no, you misspelled that word, or whatever. Uh, who knows that? Yes? This, these are a few more, nearly, more hands. Nearly everybody here knows the inner sensor. I hate him. Well, that's why we that's why we draw him. <laughs> she does that. I can't draw anything. Uh, I should go to a creative drawing uh, workshop next no, time. No, no, no. We, we, we drawing can be as easy as writing. Like um, everybody can write, so everybody can draw. This is ways from being perfect, but it's really helpful um, when you're having a writing blockade to draw your inner sensor. In the moment, it looks like. So this is how it looked like for me at the moment. Tomorrow, it might look totally different. It is ways from perfect. It's just the inner sensor that hit me uh, right now here, today. And why I was drawing it? Because it's the best feeling ever if you can destroy him. And. I guess we're not allowed to, to set that thing on fire, are we? No, we are not allowed Damn to do it, it here. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. you, can, you can do it at home. <laughs> or you can just throw it in the trash bin. And it really frees you up. I mean, it, it really empties you and it really helps to um, go it away. And this is also a kind of technique we want to um, let you at least know about. If you want, you can try it now, but we actually are running a bit out of time. But just remember to draw it and throw it away. Yes, and uh, another thing you can do, uh, except from uh, drawing your inner sensor, uh, you could also give him a name, like, uh, I don't know, Mr. Smith or something, and then you can shout at him or, or write him a bad letter with all your writing mistakes you can ever think of. Yes? The inner sensor might be a woman. <laughs> or a <Yeah>. cat. <laughs> a vomiting cat or so. Yeah. Um, another thing you can do, and this is something uh, you come across if you, if you write creative writing books, uh, or you read creative writing books, this is something uh, most of the people recommend, are uh, uh, morning pages. Yes. Yes, morning pages. That's actually... Um, I'm not a morning person, so for me it is not that helpful, but, but for everybody who is um, really awake, uh, the brain awakens when you wake up and you are really um, getting out of the bed, drink the first coffee and then you're um, fully motivated to start your day. Um, um, well, <laughs> I, I never was. <laughs> it, it, it can be um, a good choice to sit down for five minutes and do what we did before, like with the first exercise, with the free riding. Um, when you do that every day in the morning for five minutes, after uh, one month, it um, you notice a difference in the um, in the feeling. Um, you you can start your day more. Um, more clear and yeah, and it doesn't only help you for writing, but it helps you for writing as well. Um, actually, I'm not a morning person either. I have no freaking idea how I got through my school time. Um, but um, if you if you just get out of band, even if you're still dizzy and everything, just write down I either five minutes or three pages or whatever you take as as your goal. Just do it. I tried that myself. Uh, I, I somehow lost lost track of it doing it again, but I, I shall start again soon. Um, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not at camp, but maybe at camp. Maybe even at camp. At camp. Yes, you too. <laughs> 
No, um, it's like uh, you, you just get out of bed and you write down um, parts of your dreams, parts of what's going on th in your mind, parts of things that happened through the last days. And then you just write it all down like we did the first time. And as Barbara said, you're getting more clear. After, after two or three weeks, uh, I had uh, the feeling that my, my my thoughts are getting clearer, much clearer, and I could get into that writing mode much faster. Not, not only in the morning, but you are able to, to write in the afternoon or in the evening when you already did some writing in the morning. Th this worked for me, but you, you are just invited to try it for your own. Just try it. It's, it's just an, an offer, but uh, I realized, even if I'm not a, a morning person, that it actually works. Um, and then... We can already say, thank you for being here, fellow writers. You already wrote some pages. You already made a start, maybe, or you kept going. And we, in we invite you to just go on. Just try it again. And um, yeah, if, if you like that here, um, I hope we see each other. At some other point, yes, I see, I see another hand. Come in. Yes, uh, thank you. So, so the question I currently have is, how do you get from this mumbling to an article or something you actually want to publish? What's the next step? Um, for me, it just switched mode. So if you keep on going, or for me it worked, if you just keep on writing and writing and writing, at some point you realize you're already writing that article or you're actually writing that topic or the next scene of your short story or book and you when, when everything that's disturbing you is going out then suddenly you just switch to to the to the other thing you really want to write sometimes if there's maybe going on lots in your life it takes longer and sometimes you need only two or three sentences and then you're already in, in the story. It's just, uh, at, at, at the point in, in your brain, it just gets click. Yes? Um, another, another tip uh, for that is uh, maybe to cluster things, what you wrote down now, um, to make a cluster of it and see what belongs to each other, um, like where, w which, you know what a cluster is, I don't have to explain that. <laughs> and then when you are finished with clustering, um, you, you better see how you're going to start and where the start is and where the end is. So um, to make, sh um, I, I, I at least that helps uh, for blog articles. <laughs> yeah, uh, about that. So I can share my strategy. I personally works for me. Um, so you talked about morning pages. Uh, that's what I'm doing as well. Um, okay, now I know a lot of people are skeptical about this and think like, oh, I can't do it. I can't, you know, I can't wake up and write. I, I'm not this kind of person. But honestly, um, just try it. And what I did is, when after a while, after you do this for every single day for like a month, you start to see repetitive patterns. You see, like you're always complaining about the same stuff. You're complaining about. I can't write, or I, I really want to start writing a novel, but I'm still, I still haven't started. Um, and after a while, it starts to annoy you that you have to keep on writing the same stuff. So you think, hey, okay, wait, I need to do something about this. At one point, you s your mind starts to think that. I need to do something about it. And then I recommend you to actually go, take your agenda, take your planner, and plan in time. Plan in one hour, plan in 10 minutes, Plan in as little time or as much time as you can get away with in your busy life. We all have busy lives. Plan it and then do it. Commit to it. Planning time for yourself is commitment. And commitment will get you to your goal. Yes. yes. What he said, right? <laughs> okay. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, I think we're finished, N nearly on time, just two minutes. Thank you very much for, for letting us have that two minutes. It was a thank you for your contribution. Um, thank you. And we hope you had some fun while writing.
Yes, uh, uh, we hope uh, all the people in the stream had fun writing. Um, whoever wants to come back to us having questions, just, just having a beer or something, a chunk, and, and talking further about it anytime, you can find us online and on Twitter, uh, which is also online. But, um, and uh, yeah, for me, you see two Twitter names, which uh, the, the one with the real name is the, the my author self and the other is my, my nerd self. <laughs> the author self is also uh, followed by my boss, so don't uh, um, yeah, expect too much nerdy stuff there, but you find my author self there. Thank you. Thank you people from, from the technics, uh, technical guys. And uh, yeah, see you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for coming to our workshop. Ah, yeah, and um, please, you can keep all you wrote, <laughs> um, but it would be very nice if you would uh, return the um, pens. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>